going to do some addition and subtraction of fractions. Some of this will be a review of some things we've done already in the past. Let's read the first problem. Julie is making a poster or a home report. The directions say to use one-fifth of the poster to describe the setting, two-fifths of the poster to describe the characters, and the rest of the poster to describe the plot. What part of the poster will she use to describe the plot? So get your highlighter, please. The question says, what part of the poster will she use to describe the plot? Alright, what are the numbers that we already know? Cheyenne? So one-fifth is the reading. One-fifth is going to give you what part? The setting. What are the next numbers that we need? Elena? Two-fifths is the characters. We have one-fifth of setting, two-fifths of the characters. And what else is important for us to highlight here? What else does it say? You can see? So the rest. So whatever is left, basically, we need to remember that. That's going to help us determine what we also do in our problem. Right? So you can kind of see a picture over here of their setting characters and plots. You can also see a model down here of your fraction strips that you've been using. So we are going to shade what to represent the setting? Back up and look at the number to represent the setting is one fifth. And what are we going to shade to represent the characters? Two fifths. So we are going to do that. So we're going to shade one for the setting. And then how many parts are we going to do for the characters? So that means we have to do two more. So we get both parts. Now asks us to write an equation for the part of the poster that is used for the setting and the characters. So, isn't this what we just did? So, what did we do first? What was our first step in the equation? So, we had one step, and then what did we do? So, what kind of expression am I going to use here? So, we added the two fifths for the characters. We have to know that when I'm shading one and then I'm shading another, that I'm adding those two together for a total. And what do I have as a total now that is shaded? Three fifths. So it says, what does the part of the model that is not shaded represent? We know what is shaded. So what does the not shaded part represent? Eden? So it's the rest of the report or the plot. So we're going to say the rest of the report, the plot. Yes, it shouldn't be report, it should be poster. It should be doing a book report, so let's put poster here. which is the plots. So you shaded the setting and the characters. What's left is what the plot would be. So then what would my equation be for this part? That she's using for the plot. What kind of equation could I use here? Do I know how much I have for a total? No. I do. What is that? Five fifths. If I had the whole thing, it would be five fifths. So I'm taking five fifths. And then what am I doing? Subtracting the three. Why three? Because that covers everything but that, right? So five fifths is the whole. Three fifths is what was covered by the setting of the characters. And I get an answer of? Which is the amount that they have for the plot. So Julie will use how much of the poster just to describe the plot? 
two fifths. Now, instead of putting the five fifths here, you could have put one minus three fifths. It's the same thing. We know that five fifths is also equal to one. So if you would have written one minus three fifths, I would have accepted it. Sometimes it's easier for us to look at five fifths minus three fifths so we can look at our numerators. Okay? Does everybody kind of understand how we did each part? We added up the parts that were not what we were looking for, and then we subtracted what we had already used. All right, let's look at the bottom one. What is the error? Luke says that one-fifth plus two-fifths equals three-tenths. Describe his error. Take a look at what he's doing there. And what's wrong with what he says? So what are those called down there? I know, but what is the bottom of the fraction called? So he added the denominators when you're supposed to be adding just the numerators. Because we have what size of parts here? Fifths, right? So the parts have to stay the same instead of moving and changing it to tenths. Okay? He did add both. He added the numerators like he was supposed to, but he also added the parts. Well, when you're in fifth size parts, you can't change that. Okay? All right. So let's put something along the lines of you can't add the denominators. <coughs> size parts. Does everybody kind of understand that? Yeah. And add the denominators when adding same size parts. We could also say something about the parts where the sizes of the parts should not change. So if you have fifth size parts, it's going to stay at fifth size parts. I could add that on there too, just make sure you understand that it has to do with the size of the parts. You may flip when you have that written. discuss common denominators, something that some of you still are struggling with, remembering how to do. Fractions with common denominators represent wholes that are divided into the same number of equal size parts. To add or subtract fractions with the same denominator, you can add or subtract the number of parts given in the numerators. So take a look at what they have going on here. We're going to complete the equations. In words, they have one fourth size part plus two fourth size parts equals how many fourth size parts? Now, look over here in the next box. Instead of having it written in words, what they write it in. What's the box called? Fractions. So they wrote this from words into fractions. Take a look at it over here. One fourth, that's where they're getting the one fourth size part, plus two fourth from two fourth size parts is going to give you what as an answer here, Chase? So I'm going to put a 3 in here, and it should, you can write it like that since they started doing that, and then 3 would go over here as well. Typically when you write in words, you'll write everything out, but they're trying to make it a little bit easier on you to see exactly what they're doing. Notice your 1 plus your 2 equals your 3. You see it over here on the numerator of your fraction. Same thing, 1 plus 2 equals the 3. Now this next one, they don't give you as much. So let's read it. 3 6 size parts, B means everyone, plus 2 6 size parts is going to equal what? Who thinks they can tell me? Right, what am I going to put in here? Thank you. So you're going to write the 5 as a digit, and then you're going to write 6 sixth 
size. It's hard for me to fit all that in there, so I'm going to write it here. Just like they've been doing here, six size parts. You're going to write five six size parts. And then when you come over to the fraction section, the three six plus two six gives you what? Five six. This time you had to put in two numbers. This next one, I want you and your partner sitting next to you to work it out. You're going to fill in some words, and then you have to fill in the whole entire equation over here on the right. Go ahead and talk it out. 